Howdy folks and good afternoon. We gave away something this morning, a really nice tool. And uh, on the same day, we are going into another review. This one's a small, a small blower, but it's got two batteries, which is the first thing that was kind of like, okay, comes with two batteries and a charger. So, hey, I'm, I'm kind of like, yeah, you know, it's pretty good. And it's small and portable. So around the wood shop and the woodworking and all the dust that I create, a small blower is a really nice little tool to have around the shop. So that's what we have here. So we're going to introduce, ta-da, here it is. <laughs> and it's, I guess it's save them. <laughs> yeah. Let's get it out of the box. Yeah. yeah. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Okay. Batteries come in the boxes. Uh, charger is small, but you know, a little wall charge like that sometimes is not a bad thing at all. How small is the blower? Well, okay, there's the pipe. The other piece of pipe. Ta-da, here it is. Yeah. And there's another battery in there. Uh, the blower, like I say, it's small, but it's got 150 mile an hour wind rated. So that's a good thing. It also has, comes with two different little nozzles here, so you can unlock and it locks into two pieces. And you've got kind of a semi-directional thing going on here so you can kind of, you know, point it down. So it's, it's a nice, easy, very light, very portable. Let's put a battery on it. So we'll get a battery out of the box. Yep. The batteries are 20 volt and the charger actually plugs in. It's real odd, a little different than some of the other ones we're used to around here, but it has a small jack that plugs into the middle of the top of the battery here. And plug that into the wall, and you'll see a red light come on until it's ready, then it turns green. The batteries also have the, uh, the nice little feature here. Let's see if I can do that, hit that. See that red flashing light there? That shows it's fully charged. And we pop that battery in. Now it's got two uh, settings and they're on a button here on the top. So again, very portable, very easy to use. And yeah. so for around the workshop or leaf blowing out of like a gutter, something like that, you know, you've got this bed over top here so you can get up in there. And so for storage, you've got, this is the biggest piece because even these will unlock on a tab, they'll unlock on a tab. Yeah, they'll unlock. Yeah, there, see, they'll unlock, and you you know store one inside the other or something, and you've got 20 volt batteries, two of them. So, so two batteries is kind of handy because you can be charging one battery while you're you know using the other. Because I found that some of these blowers uh, they don't last very long. But let's talk about gasoline. Ouch, a gas driven blower right now. Uh, some of them are getting, uh, they're, 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 they're banning them in certain towns, cities in the West. I've heard schools around schools are starting to ban uh, gas leaf blowers. And it's really, look at the price of gas right now. You know, who wants a gas leaf blower? Like, so an electric one is an alternative at this time. Uh, if you don't have solar panels and all that, yeah, you're gonna have to plug in one outlet, wall outlet in, you know, get some energy off the, uh, the house grid or whatever to charge it up and run it. But it doesn't take a lot of power to slowly charge these up. And then you have a great 20 volt battery pack that you can smack in and you're ready to, you know, go to town and do some blowing <laughs> and, and clean up. And with a small one like this, it just, it'll go into the car, it'll go into smaller areas around the machinery, like the, the saws and stuff. I can get in and out of there with a small blower like this. And it helps me to, you know, clear out all that sawdust uh, before I make uh, sawdust the next day again, because God knows I, you know, I'm good for sawdust. Oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm constantly blowing sawdust out of the garage here and out of the workshop, the barn and everything, just blowing it, you know, constantly. So it's a nice little tool. And uh, we're gonna do like, like I said, the uh, good price, good discount, all that. I'll put a link in the description below for where you can find a deal on these right now. And the other thing you can do, let's see if I can put this together. Uh, oops, almost did it wrong again. And there we go, yep, locked. The other thing you could do is 
you could you know put this up someplace on the wall on a couple of pegs or up on a shelf this thing just stays out of the way I mean, it's just out of, it's, it's small enough that it, you know you can pretty much put this anywhere I've got another one here that is bulky and huge and uh, it does a okay job I think it's rated for the same about 150 mile an hour wind that seems to be a, a favorite in the industry we had one in here a couple months ago and I showed you 10 uh, things you can use a leaf blower for around the workshop and around around the house altogether so I guess we won't reinvent that situation uh, but there's a lot of different things besides leaf blowing like I said it, and they just call this a blower they don't call it a leaf blower because it's really this one here is compact enough it's meant to go around small stuff or if you're you know if you're out RVing and camping or anything like that going on and you want to bring something like this with you you know it's it's easy to use and you got two batteries and you can you know blow and clean stuff out I clean out my saws I clean out my tables I do my floor here, I clean out behind the, the shelving, the benches, because junk gets back there all the time. It's nice to have a nice little guy like this that you can get up in there and sort of blow it out. So really that's what we're looking at today. And it's, it's gonna, supposed to be on a sale price. And I will check that first before I say anything more. <laughs> that's not what price it is. <sighs> okay, so real quick. On the features, it's uh, 93 dB, so it's not too loud. It's, it's, it's still pretty loud, 93. It's, it's a lot lower than just about anything I've got in my shop. Good for RV, car, boat, camping, or around the workshop for, you know, small jobs, really. That's, that's what, look at the size of it physically, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, cleaning out some small machinery and stuff or other applications that you may think of. The batteries, uh, they charge up quickly. They're rapid charge, two, uh, two amp hour. So you've got two two amp hour batteries. So in other words, while one's charging, you could be you know using the other. And it's fairly portable on. Switch here is off, uh, low, and high. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Cut, try that again. And then you have a switch here with three position, off, uh, I guess we'll say low, and then high. So you just throw the switch on, it's fairly portable. And if you have a small porch or you know a small condo type property like that where you do need a leaf blower or something, it'll you know it'll do that trick too. Or cleaning around the car. Uh, a couple times I've had some junk in the back of the car. I've used a, actually a leaf small blower like this and just kind of you know blow the blow the crap out. Blow the blow the stuff out. Now there's uh the deal, I checked the online price and it shows I think a retail of right around $100. So hopefully there's a pretty good uh, discount coupon or something going on. I think there is for it. So it'll be under $99, $99, whatever dollars. So that's good. I'm not sponsored. I don't get any money for this anyway. So they just sent this over for review so we can take a look at it. And you already know, if you've watched the show at all, you already know the deal. So let's start, let's start the spiel. <laughs> Here it goes. Yes. We're gonna have a draw for the blower, yes. And somebody that's watching can win themselves this blower. So the first thing you're gonna do is, I'm gonna give you an email box that you write to the email box. It'll be above my, I'll put my head down here like this. It'll be above my head right there. And it's uh, coffeeandtoolrewards at gmx.com. And you'll email that. Now, in the subject line of your email, you'll just put blower. I'm going to get my head down, B-L-O-W-E-R, blower. And then just as if you were doing a postal letter, something like that, just your name and your address with your zip code, and that's it. Open to the lower 48 and Canada, and next Thursday we'll do a draw, and somebody will get themselves this nice little blower. Yep, and uh, that, that'll, be, uh, that'll be another, another item out of here. <laughs> in the meantime, uh, down below in the description, like I said, we'll try to see if we can't rustle up some uh, coupons or coupon code, and deals, whatever, for the blower in case you're interested in purchasing one for yourself for your applications. And in the meantime, uh, that was the, oh, do not leave the charger on overnight. They don't recommend that. And uh, that's really, you know, just a matter of charging two batteries and using it. So it's not that hard. I am going to have trouble getting it back in the box. I'm not sure how it all came out of that box right now, but we will ship it out to whoever next Thursday when we have a winner. So that's the deal. Now,
There's a business email box. Please don't write to that. That is for business and it gets jammed up pretty good every day with sometimes uh, contracts and companies that we're dealing with right now to get stuff in. I have uh, eight more products that came in this week. I have some more products coming in next week and the week after. And so, you know, the business email box is just what it says. It's a business email box. But a lot of people keep writing to that for the contest or draw. And no, you know, it's not for that. So I will also give the uh, draw email box in the description below in case you need to check it for spelling or cut and paste it into your email, anything like that. And in the meantime, I will just say, hey guys, uh, you know, we're, I think we're done and over and out. And there it is.